Oh, Woo! What? See, we can already. Ooh. Whoop, whoop. Copperhead room. Pouring the rain. No cases. Woo! I'm crazy. Ah. Fun part. Woo. Hmm? Too late. The sparkle deedle do in there. What in the world? The hot mess. Hey, Ashley. Rat's nest. Peekaboo. Unfortunately. Doing it wrong. Woo! Trump! Where do I go? Oh my god. <laughs> this scares me. Potato. In your best life. There we go. Come to the nub. We're gambling. Something mixed up here. Mystery solved. That's a mess. Unforeseen difficulty. That's unfortunate. Dinky nub. Good the gravy. This is a booger. Mm, negative. Literally no hold. I got it. <laughs> I'm, I'm fixing what Ralphie did. Okay. You want your test? Oh. How did that happen? Yeah. Impeccable. Ow. <laughs> 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 what the crap? Beep, beep. She running. This is cool. Oh, oh, oh. We won. Woo! Ah. Woo! 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 I'm a good driver. This is stressful. Hey, hey, hey. Too unstable for this. Okay. 23 years. Ooh, what's that noise? Four Ooh. years. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, we didn't. Oh, oh. In a bathing suit. Licking it off the gate. Hi, sweet baby. Welcome back to the Sleeper Dude YouTube channel. If you watched our video last week, you saw us do a bunch of brake work to Wawa's Beetle. We almost got that done last week, but the video was so long, we had to split up in two parts. So this is the second half. We got to get these brakes finished up. We also got to do some engine work, do a complete wiring harness in this thing, and get it running, driving, out on the road for the first time in 23 years. Let's get to it. See if I can sneak this thing up in here. I was gonna bench blade it, but it doesn't have a reservoir. I'd have to like make a temporary reservoir or something. We're just gonna bleed on the vehicle. It'll be fine. Line up that push rod to the master cylinder, okay? You see what I've got there? Sure, yeah. Right, where's the rod? I don't see it. Pick it up in the middle of that hole. There you go, it's in, right? There's two big long 13 millimeter bolts. Why don't you start them? Where does this go? You'll see there's only two holes. Well, there's no light in here, so they don't seem to be going in. Oh, yeah, hold on. I'm getting the bottom one in. I'm just super glad that I didn't have to make any brake lines. I can't remember the last time we did one that I didn't have to make brake lines for. I see some junk in these lines coming down from the reservoirs. We probably had to flush them out so we don't get new rust into our master cylinder here. I'm going to spray down through this. Y'all tell me if anything comes out nasty. Coming out? Yeah. Yeah, it did. We got our new hoses on there. It didn't have any clamps, so I didn't put any clamps on it. We might have to go back and put clamps on if it leaks. Nothing on this car had clamps. I don't know what the deal is, what they had against clamps. We'll flush out our brake lines here and then hook everything up for good. It doesn't have a very big reservoir. You see the fluid dripping out of there? It's like brown looking. Looks like it's only dripping out of this corner right now. We want that to be clear looking. I'm gonna go ahead and hook up the metal line here now. I already blew this line out just to make sure it was clean. A lot of people I don't think think about that stuff when they're hooking all this up on an old car. They put a bunch of trash back into their brand new parts. Okay, got that line hooked up. Well, now that we capped the other side off, it's coming out this right front. So that's a good sign. It's pushing the air out of the system. It's got the trash out of the lines for us. It seems to be easier to start it in the wheel cylinder first, because they seem to be kind of a pain, and then do the brake line, because it's easier to get to. And I'm taking the bleeder screw out to do this, because it's right in my way. He's been more nosy lately, hasn't he? Yeah. Nothing's getting through that one. All the other ones are good. I guess we'll try to blow it up with the air hose. Anything coming out? No, sir. Really? <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! It came out that time, didn't it? Yeah, it did. It's blowing now? Yeah. <laughs> it's like ink. It's chunky, too. Oh, yeah, we're getting fluid now. Okay. Time to start the bleeding process. Woo! Pump it up, Law. Look for leaks, Ralphie. Oh, we got a leak. What? I see a leak already. The metal lines or the rubber lines? Oh. I did not think you tightened it up. Oh, yeah. Just got to tighten that up real quick. <laughs> Nothing to see here. Oh, wait, wait. Hey, you're supposed to edit all your mistakes out, right? Oh, yeah. Nobody, nobody you're knows perfect, about that. You're perfect, right? Exactly. <laughs> all right, try to get a walk. Hold it down. 
Ooh, nice. Oh yeah, we're getting fluid. All right, other side. There we go. Got a little gangs, huh? They're already working. Every time she hits it, it stops it. Can you feel that happening? Yeah. Ooh, just a little toot. Ooh, that's when you're in line and you thought it was silent. Don't look at me like that. You've been there. Ooh. Oh, that was a bunch of air, wasn't it? It's feeling really different now. You push it down, it just gets harder and harder. All right, I think we're pretty good. Are you a good shop kitty? It's like, don't speak to me. I do my own thing. We made the decision as a group that this pipe right here just needs to go. Since the other one broke off on the way home and you can see that this one is cracking right here, we're just gonna cut it off there and get it out of the way. Eventually we need to get us an exhaust system for it, but you know, we ain't got that today. Scrap pile, Rocky. Looks better, right? Yeah, well it's hot. All right, on the engine things. Woo! Hopefully with this new car, we won't have to run vice grips on it. So what this thing was doing is if it went down choke, it was idled up so high it like revved to the moon. And if you turn the choke off, it wouldn't stay running. So these passages in here for like the air bleeds and stuff and accelerator pump were so tiny. So hopefully our brand new carb here will yeah, fix came, these problems. It sure looks cool, don't it? It came with this guy. Oh. It looks like a lawnmower one. That's it, funny. It literally is a lawnmower one. Wow. I like how this has a barb instead of, this one's just slick and we've had trouble with it leaking. So that's a little better. Hey, look, it came with one of these. Oh, cool. Cleaning kit? Yeah. What a deal. Should have known you'd found the cleaning kit. Mm -hmm. so everybody's telling me that the throttle cables and clutch cables are bad to break on these things. So I guess we need to get spares of that, huh? Yeah. Oop. Look very similar. So it's a Solex 34 pick three, I believe. Yeah. I mean, it's usable, I'm sure, if you put enough work into it, but we don't have a lot of time around here is our problem. Oh, we have an extra gasket. What a deal. It may not run worth flip, but it sure does look better, doesn't it? Whoa! Whoop, whoop! Whoop, Okay. I don't think we're going to have any more fuel leaks up here. That is way different there. It was actually a little bit small, even for a quarter inch fuel line. It must be metric fuel line size. Now we're going to do a little bit of redoing here on our coil and ignition system. So we're going to put the correct coil and go back to our electronic ignition and see if we can get it to work. This is our old 74 Dodge ballast resistor that we dropped in the floor and busted. And the coil off of our 74 Dodge as well. He's a He's sweet kitty. He's crawling his own face. What a sweet kitty. You better put him down. He's going to bite your face off. Oh, God. <laughs> So we got this flamethrower coil and it's got three ohms of resistance, which is supposed to be the correct amount for this Protronics ignition system that we may or may not have burned up in the last video. Mm. So we're about to find out. Tell me in the comments, I feel like there would be an advantage to using a vacuum advanced distributor. I mean, I've really never had a car that didn't have a vacuum advanced. So wouldn't it be better to put a vacuum advanced on this? I feel like it would be. Let me know in the comments, you Volkswagen people. Working good. Looks good to me. Copperhead Road. We're on a journey, pity me. I'm not videoing. Oh my god. That's going in the intro, you know it is. He's killing. He's one of those things. It's like a moth, I think. This can be a mount upside down because it's epoxy filled, so we're good to go. You gotta watch that on oil filled coils. <laughs> oil filled coils. I'm actually going to swap out the ignition system into the new distributor since i feel like that's going to be our best chance of it working correctly because this one's much cleaner and much better shape so it's really simple to drop in here those dowels set into the holes there and you got this one little screw it tightens down the wires here go right out the same hole that your points wire came out through slides down over that it has magnets on all four sides and it picks up that signal hopefully it picks up a working signal this time Chitty. <laughs> He's gonna get you. So the way this wire is in is the black wire goes straight to the negative side of the coil, red wire goes to the positive side of the coil, and then you need a power source going into it. Because this is a 12 volt coil, I don't have to have any ballast resistor, which is nice. We're gonna use our solder stick connector. So if you go to solderstick.com and use code Josh20, you're gonna get 20% off your order. So go check them out. They got spade connectors, ring connectors, heat shrink. They have their uh, low temperature solder connectors I really like that have an adhesive built into them. They're heat shrink and they're waterproof so you can use them even in marine applications so go check them out uh, solderstick.com okay 
We got all that crimped together, plug it into our coil. I like how this coil has the built-in terminals on it. That makes it a lot easier. So hopefully that works for us, but we're gonna find out here in a minute because we gotta go get our casings, right? Woo! And then we gotta paint our hoops. It's pouring the rain now. We're trying to make it to the casing store before they close. Got some new casings on her. Woo! Uh, it's kind of like ours, Dad. Yeah, I know. He probably broke down. <laughs> Probably. Oh man, I like it though. Your frame lock does not need Yeah, them. look. This thing has been flat the whole time I've owned it. I'm so ready to have a, not a flat on it. You ready, Bob Ross? We need to go ahead and paint these so they can be drying. I just want straight metal. I think it's going pretty good. I think white is, is probably the definite good color. You're we can't get, get on the casing. Watch out. We can't get off. We can't get off. Oh my gosh. I'm crazy. Is it clean? I think so. This is why it's good to paint them beforehand if you have the time. We're squeezy when you need her. She's actually painting inside. <laughs> she's painting inside while we're painting outside. Yeah, she got that new marker she's been waiting on. Paint marker. And... Uh, Costco marker. Yeah. Markers are special. The actors are good. At least it had matching hoops on it. Yeah. A lot of times you get an old car and it's like none of the hoops match each other or two of them do or whatever, you know? Yeah. Usually they don't all match. Well, there you go. We got one coat on it. It's definitely going to take another coat tomorrow, but it says you got to wait like overnight. Four. When it says 24 hours, it just means overnight. Oh, nice. You know, that'll be fine. So let's see if the Beetle still runs with our new carb and ignition system. So we're gonna fill the bowl up here. All right, hit it, Ralphie. Way, way better way now. Better. Sounds good too, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Really good. I guess the ignition system didn't like the coil we had on, I guess. So now that we got the correct coil, seems to be working good. We need to go ahead and drain our oil though, especially now that it's a little warm, get it some fresh oil in it. Woo! Woo! We gotta get the rest of the wiring worked out so we have like all the lights and stuff. Yeah. That would be nice. I'm just glad it runs clean. It sounds really good now. Yeah, it's way, it's 100% better. better. Yeah, I think that carburetor was killing us. We're gonna keep those points in the glove box. So this is a 21 or 13 six feet. Apparently it doesn't have like a spin on oil filter. It just has like a wire mesh. I've had some motorcycles that had stuff like that. Let's see what this oil looks like guys that we've been running around on. Ooh, I don't see any chunks so far. It's not terrible, huh? It's got a lot of oil in it. I did see a chunk or two. You did? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You did. A few chunks in there. So I wanted to take the screen out and go ahead and clean it and everything, but apparently can't get the gasket anywhere locally. So I guess we're gonna leave the oil screen in it now. It's got like a wire mesh in there that catches the dirt. So I just ordered two of them that come with new gaskets and everything. They're like 11 bucks a piece on Amazon. So we'll just run this oil on it for a little while. Once our new screen comes in, we'll dump that oil out. We'll probably put synthetic in it, honestly, once yeah. we get that done. And we'll put the new screen in it and have it good to go. But for now, we're gonna reuse the old one. I'm sure our gaskets are probably not gonna come off clean out of here. I'm gonna go ahead and straighten out our heat shield because I know they're important to keep this thing cool. Goes right there. I don't know why they took that off, but we're gonna put it back on. Uh, that way, hopefully, it won't overheat on us. We gotta check our rear end. We have not we, checked we our have rear end yet. We have missed this for so long. I don't know. We keep forgetting to check our rear end. You gotta do that. Three, two, one. while over the top's going on over there i'm going to take the fill plug out of our transaxle so we can check our rear end that's an important step 
I always want to check your rear end. Nobody's gonna check it for you. Ooh, we're full. Okay, good to know. So we're just gonna put that right back on there. I'm surprised that's full. Well, well how much oil does this thing take? Two and a half quarts. Thank you. That doesn't seem like very much. I think they have more in it than that. Cause that thing was really full. We're running the Rotella in it, diesel oil. It has a higher zinc content among other things. So I run the T6 synthetic in all my cars that we like especially drag race and everything, I have forever, so. I'm not really particular about the brand. It doesn't matter to me, but I just usually run diesel oil. So now to the fun part. Woo! Hmm? We have a complete wiring harness this thing, which show them the directions, like put the like, color stuff. It's really nice directions that comes with it. It's already got all the ends on it. it shows all the colors. This thing has That's more of a harness than I thought it would have. I mean, there's a lot of wires here. It's specifically for a 71 Super Beetle. I didn't know if we were gonna get to this point, but I guess we're just gonna go ahead and do it. Yeah, let's go you ahead. Know? We probably need to upgrade to a alternator at some point, don't we? Probably. It says remove old harness. Well, too late. Somebody already did it for us. Well, this is showing the engine here, front of car. So this is tail lights. Generator. Ground tab on body. It'll be nice to have a good harness in this thing because right now we have no lights or anything. We really don't want to drive it like that. Let's figure out what ends what here, Wall. That goes up to the main harness, I think. So that'll go that direction, that way. So I'm gonna go ahead and hook up our generator, which that's another important step to have a charging system. Green wire goes on the right side. It says DF. Is that stuck? <sighs> really? Come on. This thing was Sparkle Deedle doing the other day, wasn't it? Mm hmm. <clears throat> Man, I'm gonna have to get on that with pliers or something. Once again, we're heating something up because it won't come loose. I don't wanna get this thing too hot and mess up the generator, but it's sitting on top of an engine, so I'm sure it gets pretty hot. <sighs> See, heat works every time. It's better than penetrating wool. <laughs> It's gonna be hot. Oh, it's still hot. So this is your ground here. I'm trying to clean this off. Anywhere you got a ground, it's best not to just clamp it down all rusty or you're not gonna have a good ground. It really surprises me how cheap some of the stuff is for these cars. Like I didn't expect this harness to be like $300 considering all the stuff that comes with it. But I guess they just mass produce so many of these cars and there's such a big following that you can just get stuff for them pretty cheap. What in the world? That's incredible. That's a long scraper, a little car in it. I'm afraid of this falling. It looks like a hot mess, on it? I'm having to re-tap the threads on the generator stud to something I have around here because it must be metric and I don't have a metric. I re-tapped it for a number 10 machine thread. Did Ralph just slink out? I think he went to get him a snack. Oh, snack time. Well, it is about that time, isn't it? This goes back here and comes through here. The blue goes to the oil pressure switch, which is actually not even hooked up currently. Do you have a snack? Hey, cereal and a biscuit. Okay, Ashley. I'm a stalking a victim. Uh -huh. The black wire goes to the positive side of the coil, which seems opposite of what I would think. We're gonna take off the wires we put on here in the last video, because we just hot wired this thing. We gotta hook up this jumpy wire that came with it from the choke. The little tabs on our coil were too wide and I had to file them down. Looks like I'm gonna have to do the same thing on the carburetor. The spade connectors that came with the harness are not as wide as these are. Must be standard versus metric or something, huh? Just a little too wide. There you go. Okay, it fits now. There's our wires. So they were hidden behind this insulation. Oh we had gosh. to bend these tabs back. It's this is our incredible. rat's nest harness Ew. right here. Oh my gosh. So where is this ground tab on the body they're talking about? Must be hidden underneath all this. Probably. Probably under the rat poopies. Look how it's filled up in there with dookie. The whole back in there is full of junk. <sighs> I think our ground tab is <laughs> under. <laughs> What in the world? Yeah, our ground tab is underneath all that. That's incredible. Impeccable, my I say. Right there is our ground tab, right there. Mm. Just gonna temporarily remove that. So, clean some of this mess out. We can get to this. It's nasty. So I actually had to cut one end off this little short wire here because we got a wire in our electronic ignition, powers off the coil as well, which normally that's not on there. This short lead here goes up to the reverse light switch. So I guess it powers the reverse light switch. 
kind of funny to me because most cars, when you look at wiring diagrams, it's like you never want to power junk off the coil because it might mess with things like on the ignition system. They just powered everything right off the coil wire. So it has these funny connectors here that everything goes into. So you just pull all that off and oddly enough, the wire colors are not matching up exactly the same. With the old stuff? Yeah, but the old stuff's such a wreck. I don't even know if we need to reference that. Look how they've taped together all this tail light harness. So I'm gonna do it the way the book says here. This thing is such a mess anyway. We've ran into our first issue here. This connector had different style pins. These were built into the harness. So I ripped them out of there. I took way too much force to do that. And our new harness, the way it's set up, these are female connectors coming into that. So it's the opposite. I think I might need to read the instructions. I mean, it came with these. This is showing a four wide block here. We definitely don't have enough to do both sides if we were well, going to do Well, this one's different. Yeah, I know. Maybe, Maybe you just use four of them single ones. I'm just going to cut the ends off all this mess. Make that easier to pull through here. It looks like it goes through the fender well and then out through here. It goes down here to a ground tab on the frame. Okay, there's the little tab there. So there's our tail light harness. Looks like it comes with new grommets, at least some. I have two new grommets here. We're gonna have to ration the grommets. Why would it come with two? I don't know. Are sure, are we missing a bag somewhere? This is crazy. Why would it come with two? I'm gonna put one of them here because that one broke. Well, I guess we'll just replace the broken ones, huh? So this guy here, he needs to go down through here. I guess I'm just gonna do one wire at a time to get it through there because these ends. There's that, and it'll come up through here. Peekaboo! You found some bulbs? Yeah. This one is completely stuck in there. There we go. Blue goes to the bottom wall, and the brown tab is your ground tab here. This is gonna be so nice. It's gonna be so nice. This is red and white yeah, here. Like Make fun of me some more. And then the top is black. 32 CP. <laughs> All right, get your screws back in that wall. There's the other tail light harness. Now, is it gonna be the same way on this side where we can't take these out? Yeah, the same way. Get through there, you little buddy. It's getting late. I didn't sleep, you dog. Me too. Shepherdy's calling my name. Looks like this guy goes around the back, which we had to pull our insulation out to get to it, unfortunately. I really thought it would be easier to install than this, but it's kind of a pain. It's got little metal tabs up here that the wiring harness goes into. You can kind of bend up, that's kind of cool. I can't believe it has these little tabs welded to the frame. Okay, well. So I've got the exact same problem here. I've got two sets of female connectors. Mom's thinking that you replace them with these guys. So we're gonna try that. It's not showing it that way. It looks like they're all together to me, but we're gonna try that. We counted up how many there were total. It looks like we're within one or two of having enough. We'll do mom's idea and we'll use these guys. There's four on one side, three on the other, and then the double guy here. So we're gonna plug it into here. Man, those are tough. How do they expect you to push that on there? We need some neon nose pliers, Ralphie. All right. Those are a real pain to get in there. Ralphie brought me the longest neon nose pliers. I could change the oil from the front bumper with these. It's the only neon nose pliers we have. <laughs> that is not true. That is true. not an accurate statement. Not true at all. Don't listen. Black with a white stripe goes to solid black. White goes to white with a black stripe. Now these Volkswagen guys are like, you're doing it wrong. You use the thing and the thing. Oh well. The blue guy goes in here, but it connects to the, I believe the transmission harness. So this is like your backup lights, I think. Brown one goes down to the ground tab on the frame right here, which is hidden inside all the rat pee <laughs> right there. Oh, it's wow. the rusty and green thing right there. But if you wiggle it, it'll get all that off and you're good. This is gonna be our last war tonight. We'll see you guys tomorrow and uh, we'll try to finish up this harness and get our hoops on and drive it. Hands in the middle. Woo! Truck! Well, we thought we were done, and then this feels dry to the touch, so we're going to put a second coat on it so it can dry tonight and be ready in the morning, right? Yep. We're just going an extra mile. It's already like 9 o'clock. We don't ever step this late. It's funny how when it's your cars, we work longer. You notice that? <laughs> well, they look quite a bit better. Wall walk got a streak right across that one like I did on the other one, so we're oh, good wow. there. They match. Hopefully, that'll peel off later. Now, we're actually done for tonight, and it's super late out there. We'll see you in the morning. Choo! Well, tonight is the Patriot. Great movie. Oh, it's a fight again this morning. I don't know why they're eating Tater's food like that. Ooh. Ooh, Tater.
you, Wop. All right, next morning, me and Wah are the only ones awake right now. I think she's awake. Pretty sure Dang. she's awake. We're going to get right back on this wiring and get this thing finished up today. That's the plan, right? Yeah. We actually put a third coat on the hoops just now, so we're going to let them dry up while we're doing the harness. Let's get to it. So we got a license lamp here, and it looks like the gray wire plugs into this double plug here. Get in there. And the brown one goes down to the body tab. This thing could not be farther from what I'm used to working on. So weird, the way it's made. Ellie, what do you got? Huh? Ellie. Oh, a rabbit. No, don't you chase the rabbit. Don't you chase Bun Bun. No, Ellie. I'm saving the rabbits around here. This guy plugs in up here, and it does have the built-in plug in it, so that's nice. This goes down to what I just plugged in earlier. And all these little tabs bend over. Ralphie woke up. What's up, dog? I guess it goes back down the firewall back right here. You gonna clean them up? Just scrub them hard. That should come off there. I guess that's oxidation or something, but it should come off of that. Give them a scrub a dub dub. Uh, I think it's working. So we found these other black wires here. So what these do is they are a power supply and an outlet from the transmission to your backup lamp. The longer leg connects to the blue wire on the right tail out here. That's the worst one, isn't it? Then it comes across the back of the firewall and connects to the blue wire on this side, which is your backup lamps. And then the longer leg of it goes to the positive side of the coil. So it says the wire coming off the coil to the backup lamps needs an inline fuse. So I'm just gonna connect these to a 10 amp fuse. I think it's supposed to actually be eight amps, so I don't have one. And we'll tape this up to make sure it doesn't ground out against anything. Ralphie's trying something new here. We got this sent in the fan mail. It's never dull metal wadding polish. So he's gonna try it out on there, see how it does. Cause the uh, steel wool has left some on there. Oh yeah. Does that work good? Yeah. This thing's gonna be like a new car. Look at it. So I routed the wires through the grommet in the firewall right above the exhaust. And then it comes back here and there is a switch right there. Somebody's cut the wires off of and that's where this connects. So that's your backup lamp switch apparently. I can't believe that. They cut those wires off even right at the transmission. Like they put in enough effort to get all the way up under here and cut them off. I don't know why they wanted to cut everything. They could have just unplugged it, you know. Those are a pain to get to. There you go. All right, I got it. I'm trying to take some of the slack up out of this. Well, it looks like we got the first page done, Wall. I think we got all those wires. I guess we got to start on the starter now. But first, we need to route this harness through the firewall and get this old one out of here. So this wiring harness goes underneath the carpet up here. So I pulled the seal plate and I'm trying to pull the carpet up out of here. It looks like it goes behind this quarter trim panel in here and maybe even behind the bottom of the headliner as well. So we got some things to pull out of our way. Oh. Heavy, huh? Where do I go? I'm going to try to be super careful taking this off. Our headliner is pretty shot, so I'm not quite as worried about it, but I don't want to mess up our panels here. Oh, there you are. It's got little metal clips. So our harness goes through here and back up that way. We're gonna put it back then, right? Yeah, we'll put it all back. Just trying to find where this harness comes through at. Baby claws. <laughs> oh my gosh. What a baby. He can't do nothing this car. It's funny how much more worried she is because it's hers. Oh, I know, right? I'm trying to get the old harness out, which goes in through here over the wheel well and down under the back seat. And it looks like it's inside spray foam. And it is super stuck, so. I may actually need to tape this new harness to the old one and run it through. That way we don't get into a mess here that we can't get ourselves out of. Maybe this way, as we pull the other one out, this will just route right through there without any issues. Grab that thing with both hands. This scares me. Oh my gosh. It's like stuck on something. Yeah, I can't, I can't pull. Right. We'll switch jobs in. Potato's up here. Potato. Like, oh, that scared me. Golly, how is that that hard? You're getting it though. Oh, it's 
gonna be able to fit through there, Dad. Oh, that's on the old harness? Okay, just we'll just off. cut it. Oh yeah, go ahead. You should be pretty easy to pull now. About there? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I didn't know if that was gonna work or not. It's pretty good. Potato likes it. Hey, that's a pain. There is the old engine harness. You can have that, honey. Thank you. This part goes up to the front of the car, and then halfway up, it comes out right here and goes to the voltage regulator and the starter. So we're gonna round it through this grommet here and hook those up. We got our nice little factory grommet there back in. And see, this guy goes down under this and goes right in here underneath the carpet. Are you living your best life in front of the fan with a stick? Yeah. She's an AC hog. She loves it. It's really a tight fit. There you go. Check us out on other platforms at Sleeper Dude 88. I just went ahead and cut this harness right here where it comes through the rocker. Just to make it easier to get out. I don't figure I'll be reusing this guy. Man, these things are stuck. There we go. Now, this is one of the nicest things about these cars is the wiring. This is the back of the dash. You don't have to get to the back of the dash. You can just open the hood. That's good. Or the trunk. The frunk. The frunk. Looking mighty snazzy with your new sunglasses. So it's got a red, a brown, and a green. And the red and the brown have Phillips screws, and the green just pushes on there. And then the other half of the connectors come from the firewall end. She's going to be your wiring helper from now on, I think. I think so. I think you're right. Because Ralphie can't deal with it. He's like, Mom can't deal with it. She seems to kind of like it. Yeah, especially when it's on my car. <laughs> Here's your old harness, Law. Thanks. You can keep that. That's incredible. He comes with a nub? Oh, they're nub. What do you got, Ralphie? Oh, he's got the tea jug out. The thick red wire goes to this side of the regulator, and the blue one goes here. The big main charging wire that goes to the battery is not included. I thought that was funny. I thought it was complete harness, but I guess because it's kind of built into the battery connector there, it's not included with this. We'll plug this in here, and then it goes through this grommet back to the starter. So we can actually start it with a key now. Woo! Improvements. It is a really well put together kit with a really nice illustration that came with it. There's no sponsorship here on this deal, but we bought this from J-Bugs along with our brake parts. We'd love to be sponsored by them though. Yeah, it's a really good kit. I really think it's a nice product. Probably the best instructions of stuff we've had yet, huh? Yes. Here's Ooh. Your, here's your old starter wire. Oh, yeah. That thing is crunchy. Can't see it, but I feel it. Come on. There we go. Okay, we're plugged in. Gonna go ahead and pull out our homemade harness here. We'll save it though, you know. Hey, we'll use that on something else, guarantee. Yeah, we'll hotwire something else with this. We might have another redub one day. I guess I can go ahead and put this trim cover back on. We shouldn't need back behind there, hopefully. What are you slackers doing? I thought you was eating breakfast. I did. Well, I'm get making... back out here to work. I'll forget all the bathroom. What are you doing? I was high You know I can't get to work. We're gambling. We're you gambling. can't skip on work to gamble. Yeah, we can. Work comes first. I guess I can go ahead and tuck our carpet back in here and put our seal plates on. We need to do a cleanup on this thing at some point, yep. I guess. Hey, dog. Hey, honey. <laughs> <laughs> this is so, on to our next diagram here. It looks pretty straightforward. This is the generator warning light. So it looks like this little blue wire goes there and plugged into there blue with green stripe goes to the oil pressure warning light that's a good one to have yeah for real the filaments look good in them now we're going to send the power to our fuse block here so we got white with a red stripe here white with a black stripe that shows a double connector here and we don't have a double connector we only have a single connector heavy red which i'm assuming feeds this stuff goes right here what will we do without this diagram I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> and then the heavy black one goes right here. 
And then a lot of these wires to go into these double connectors. I think it may be easier to take like a pocket screwdriver and push these on instead of the needle nose pliers I've been using. This seems to be a little easier. All of these seem to go over to different fuses over here. So this is our power coming out to probably our headlights and turn signals and stuff like that. But we have one pin that's missing here and I don't know why. This double gray one is supposed to go right on top of where the white and black was from the engine harness and there's not a double pin there. So we may have to move it if we have an extra fuse spot. I'm gonna leave it here for now. We got something mixed up here because the way I thought it was on the last page and hooked it all up, now when I get over here, it's telling me, like I thought the black and red from this harness went to the red wire on the main harness, this guy, but now over here it's saying the black and red from here goes to the black and red from the harness. So something where our harness is mixed up. I don't know why we have the same colors, but it's showing us to plug a black and green to a black and green here, but it's showing the same thing over here, but in a different connector. We got something mixed up and I, I don't know what it is. Okay, mystery solved here. The wires coming out of the ignition switch and the turn signal switch are not included with the complete wiring harness. So I have got to splice into these and lengthen them back out where the guy cut every one of them off. Because look how chewed up some of these are. That's a mess. So I've got to run new wires for these. Look at our fuses too, look up in here. Our fuses are an absolute wreck. So they said that those wires come with the switch? I guess so. It looks like out of whatever this is, 12, 15 wires, we have one that's still usable. So I'm gonna have to put spade connector ends on every one of these, unfortunately. Unforeseen difficulty. Luckily, I bought a bunch of wire at the rod run this year, so okay. Hopefully we'll have all the colors necessary. Now I don't have a lot of these black with a white stripe or whatever, but we'll just have to mark them out there and let them know. Yeah, I wish this guy wouldn't cut all this harness out. It'd be a lot easier on me if he wouldn't have. Right, Wall? Yeah. We got a little bit of everything in here, don't mm, we? Yeah. Every color of the rainbow. I'm trying to keep them all separate, but I don't know if I have enough colors to do every single one a different color or not. You would think that they would put on this not included with the harness because we look forever for that. Black with a white stripe. Well, there's more than one of those. Black with a red stripe? Where are you? We don't have a black with a red stripe. That's unfortunate. A lot of these wires really didn't need length and much. You must have just cut a short section off of them because it's just right on the other side of this panel is where they plug in. Let's try to figure this maze out here. This wire goes there, black with a green stripe. It goes on to this one here. Is this wire right here, does it go to a solid black wire? Um, yes. There's no stripe on the original wire? Uh, no. Should go no, right here. Black. I think we got all that hooked up now. So we got red, black. Is this black with a red stripe? It's red with a black stripe. How do you know? So if you that stuff to the glove box. Like, thing. how do you know where to put it? It shows on the papers. The only thing about this black with a red stripe wire is the only wire we had like that in the harness was red with a black stripe. So we're hoping that's the right one, but we don't know. The brown with a white stripe wire is supposed to go to pin 25 on this relay that's non-existent. And unfortunately that does not push onto there. So I've got to hardwire this back together here with this little dinky nub that they left me. I have to do that, I guess, to every relay. This is our old front harness. Here's our new one. And this is our wires that go down to our brake switches down on the master cylinder. Looks like black goes here, red in the middle, and then red and black on the end. If you're wondering where Wawa's at, she had to go to piano practice. So trying to get better at playing the piano and she's doing a real good job at it, but I told her I'd work while she was going. Well, I tried to tape the new harness to the old one like I did in the back, and that didn't work. It just pulled the old harness through only. And as small as these holes are, I have no idea how that harness ever even fit through there. So I'm not sure what to do now. I guess I'm going to untape this and try to poke one wire at a time down through there. Good gravy. That doesn't even seem like it would fit through that at all. Yeah, it's coming. I don't know how much you need down there. I guess it doesn't matter which switch you hook it to, best I can tell, because they wire together, black on the right side and then red and black on the left. This is a booger to get down here, by the way. I guess now we're on to our front headlight harness. It's got a ground screw here. We'll need to clean up a little bit, won't we? So this goes out to the headlights and it came with a new connector for that as well. There we go, now we got a cleaner ground source. 
here's one thing a lot of people get mixed up on. These are your adjusters. These are what hold your headlight in. We need to get some of them Holly Retro Brights, don't we? Yeah, we do. I didn't even think about that. Hollywood's back for her piano lessons now. So we're just gonna go ahead and cut the headlight plug so we can pull this back through. Thank you. Headlight and the horn wiring that goes in through here. The one they all want to go once for. Yeah, take turns, right? I thought it would be much easier to just put the harness in. So these guys here go down to the horn. I don't know that it matters which side. Probably doesn't. You think the horn even works? Mm, negative. All right, so there we go. That's pinned now. So we should have a horn and a headlight. I don't know if our bulbs are any good, honestly. We might should have tested them, huh? Yeah. It's just your car. It ain't my car. There's no hole down here, Dad. You'll find it's it. Crazy. No, there's nothing. There's not a... Nothing. There's literally no hole, Dad. We took the screw out of there. It has to have a hole in there. Is that the whole lot harness in the front? Yeah. Totally. Right there. That's it. That's it. Right there. No, it ain't. Oh. I got it. Shut up. Right. You cranked it down got with that me. Together. Well, I think we're down to like these individual wires now. We have all the main harnesses put in. Looks like the wiper motor, dome light stuff, speedometer stuff. I'm so proud of you, Dad. Headlight switch. All right, let's get to it. This is much more slow paced here. We are just going one at a time. I'm having to make some little ground terminals to go on each side of the gauges because I guess somebody lost the little pins they're supposed to plug into. But yeah, just one little dinky wire at a time now. And Ralphie's working on these marker lots. Yeah, he's getting them out for me so I can plug them in. They have new harnesses for them. Okay. I think you might need to do some wiring on my new car. I ain't wiring nothing. <laughs> I'm over it. I thought you love wiring. I do like wiring, but I've done two back to back. So no more for a hot minute? Yeah. Are you back on your hubcaps? Yeah. I'm fixing what Ralphie didn't do, so. Mm, it wasn't up to your standard there? No. Not at all. One eternity later. They look pretty good. I think they look great. I think the comment helps. They're a lot better than they were, that's for sure. So she's taking the hazard switch out. There's like no way to get to it from my end. All the heater controls are right in the way. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Pin 49A is blue. The red wire goes pin 30, which is right here. This one ain't catching nothing. Oh, we caught it now. We got our funky little European fuses here. <laughs> I think we're done. There was a few different wires in that steering column that were not the same color, so that kind of worries me. We're about to try it and see if it works. Woo! Woo! It's gonna look so good. Drop it. Right there, right there. No, right there. I can't drop it. It ain't gonna work that way. Look at these great looking lug nuts. You won't see them. <laughs> At least I get covered by those caps. Oh yeah. How did that happen? <laughs> oh wow. Oh, yeah. It always happens to you. I'm not even gonna try to touch it because if I touch it, it'll just get worse. Oh wow. Right here? Yeah. Impeccable. Oh, 
Let's see what she looks like sitting down. It looks good. It's great. <laughs> I think the white one's good for me. The white one's excellent. It's great. Do you think it's going to run? Yes. 100%. 100%. I'm not doubting your wires. I'm about on 75%. Yeah, I'm with mom. I'm at least 75 or less. What wire? There was a lot of wires. A lot of stuff went on. So the only wires I did not hook up that came in the kit is the dome light because I just didn't want to deal with tackling <laughs> that today. This is the rear defrost. This double gray wire that goes to the front. I believe powers our marker lights and I gotta figure out where it goes because we don't have the pin that it says we have. And then we have one, two, three wires that came out from the steering column that we don't know what they go to. So we'll see how much this works. Woo! All right, we got a lot of circuits that hadn't seen power in a long time. We'll see what this does. It's not sizzling. I don't see nothing up here. I don't see nothing back here. Okay. Well, let's turn the key on and see what happens. <laughs> Okay, the you, horn works. Have you wired something wrong? Beep, beep. <laughs> <laughs> you wired something <laughs> <laughs> You flipped the ground, that's hilarious. I think it has to do with your non-factory horn button oh. here. Look at that, air train turn key on. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> it's funny. All right, let's unplug the horn. So something's wrong in the horn circuit. Probably to do with that right there, I would. Oh that's my hilarious. gosh. That is unless, so funny. Unless I hooked one of the wrong wires up. That's <laughs> that is pretty funny. Okay. Incredible. Let's try it now. I bet that some of those wires that were like the same color over there, I bet one of them's hooked up wrong. So we have lights on the dash. Do we have headlights? Yes. yes. We got tail lights? Yeah. Oh my yeah. god. Okay, so that works. That's incredible. Our oil light's on and our generator light's on. Let's see if it turns over and starts the engine. pressure light went out our generator light went out so we must be charging you need to drive it and take the brakes yes we do well let's see <laughs> still feel like we got brakes <laughs> you want me to drive it off the lift and then you yes you okay. better take the brakes free. The please take the brakes before you put her back in this thing <laughs> no she running ralphie has required us to install the back seat i want to sit right there can i close the hood yeah go ahead all right hop in I don't think it's going to blow up unless we're going backwards really fast. <laughs> I heard you were the best backup driver, though. I am. That's the accurate oh, statement. Squeeze. Squeeze. No squeeze. <laughs> okay. She was just here. Woo! All right. Let's find out together if the brakes work. Squeeze appeared. We have a squeeze in here now. Oh, you didn't get to ride in it last time, did you? Wait, there was the last time? Yeah, there oh, was the last gosh. time. Gosh. You yeah. don't keep up with nothing we're doing. Yeah, there was a last time. Okay. Wow. This is cool. Just started right up.
let it out in the clutch a little easier than that, okay? Yeah, I wasn't thinking about it. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Help me. I better, I better calm down a second. All right, here we go. Help me, he says. Okay, you got this, Bob. Right. You got this. We're in first. We're going. We are going. Give some gas. You gotta give us some gas. It's starting right up good, isn't it? Yeah. She's concentrating. Come on. Keep it going. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh. Looks good. No, no, like still in shock. Oh no, she's going through the cars. I told you. Oh gosh. <laughs> she probably ain't even thought about trying to brakes out. Oh, what are you doing? Stop, 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 stop. Try the brakes. Brakes, brakes, brakes. There you go. I got a boinker. <laughs> we hit the brakes and we got a boinker. <laughs> oh, guys. Oh, that's hilarious. When you hit the brakes, you got blinkers. Okay, I don't know. Oh, maybe you just hit the blinker. There you go. Okay, it was you. It was you, not me. It's up to her. What's wrong? What are you doing? I'm too unstable for this. Okay, you know what? I kind of just panicked. <laughs> you kind of just panicked? Okay. I just shut it off. Okay, okay. That's good. That's always good. You did good. You Panic took off pretty good there. I think we should try to drive it down the road just a little piece. Yes, here. we should. See how it does. I'm so proud of you, Dad. I never doubted your wire skills, not one second. Well, there's a little funky in there because the mm. horn and the blinkers and stuff, but <laughs> at least it runs. Yeah, I'm glad at it least runs. it runs, at least. It starts off the key. We don't really yes. need blinkers or brake no. lights. We, no. really know we have arms. Know. We have. <laughs> so we must have oil pressure and it must be charging. It sounds like it needs to be idled down a little, doesn't it? Smooth. 
video. We forgot to bring uh, any tools or a fire extinguisher, so that's good. We're just in a rush. Yeah. It's exciting. Yeah. Just think we get it done in time. I'm glad we got it done in time. I wasn't sure if we were, but I'm glad we did. You're ready to take it to the car show, huh? We're gonna get a new one of those. It's running like a chimp. You gotta drive it. You just have to, huh? Your whole life is lit up this moment, honey. You reckon? Yeah, give her a rip. She's awesome. All right, is the brakes and everything good? Yeah. You need to pump them a little. You got a little air. Pump them? Yeah. Pump. pump. Oh, oh, here we go. Okay. Moms always love these things. <laughs> it does look good with the white hoops on there. Oh no. My word, mother. What? She just shifted a second. I should have shifted a second. Now we're going to do. Can she figure out reverse? Doubtful. I don't know if I can reverse. Oh, we just gone coast. We coasted. Needs to be idled down. You couldn't figure out reverse? I wasn't sure about reverse. Ripper, ripper. She's a ripper. Oh, we didn't have to cars in the yard to be ripping it. It's cambered out, son. Should never let her drive. She's about to come in glued. Oh, my Lord, Mom, you're drunk. Hey, you gotta blow the suit out of her sometime. What do you think? Mom, you're banned. Yeah, she's a ripper. You're banned from driving this car, Mother. Banned nothing. Banned everything. Put Tell my name on it. <laughs> she's a beaut. She is a beaut, Clark. We still got to do a little cleanup work on her. Never been cleaned even yet. So I think we can get a lot of those rust stains and stuff off here, but that's probably going to be in the next the video. Paint. Did it turn out like you thought with the white hoops and everything? Better even. I Better? Like it. it looks great. Front end may need to be lowered a little. Just saying. Yeah, I agree. May need to put a couple bags of sack creed in there. You know what I'm saying? Is it squeezy approved? Yes. You like it? One out of 10. Uh, a 10. 10? Okay. Ten. Yeah. Wow, first 10. Yeah, that's, great. that's never happened before. Yeah, it's Seven. incredible. Seven? What Impeccable, we got? Impeccable, might I say? Oh, it's a 21 and a half, at least. Uh, Probably I'm with you. Honestly, at this point. Did you ever think you'd have something as cool as your first car? No, I didn't, honestly. No. You got about, what, six more months to go? You get your permit? Woo! 
start riding in the car with uh, mom. Mm. Uh, mm. Okay. <laughs> Come on. Well, guys, we appreciate you watching our channel and following along with this Volkswagen Beetle here Wawa's got. I don't think we could have asked for a better car for the money, you know? She's having trouble, guys. Why? A lot of trouble here. Whoa, why she's doing that? Okay. Pour one out for your home. There we go. I think it's gonna make a great first car for Wawa. We still got some stuff to do, but we got a lot done to it. She's a beaut. What else can you say? We got it done just in time to get it ready for our next meet and greet car show. Now, if you're watching this, it's already happened now, but we've announced it and everything. So we got to get her cleaned up and get some of our other cars ready for that. That's probably gonna be the next video you see. We appreciate all you guys that like and comment and super thanks and members subscribers we appreciate all that we couldn't do it without you thank you to everybody buys our merchandise that really helps out you can buy our merchandise down below you can click on it it'll take you to a website and you can buy it send it to your door that's how it works you can check out our second channel app Sleeper Dude Dude too. you can check us out on instagram facebook and tiktok app Sleeper Dude 88. and remember pour one out for your homies eat your bourbon barbecue vainas drink your rc colas it's the american thing to do hold right please, please? i'm good i don't want to oh wow doubled up did you so what's the future plans for it wall we need to clean it up for sure yeah it needs a headliner come on and a roof rack that's my roof rack right. okay Okay. I support that we really want to go on a trip in the RV so hopefully we'll get that accomplished here <laughs> hopefully soon we're really struggling with it right now so you'll probably see some more RV content coming up soon we got to get back on the big block Fairmont get the plumbing done on it get that thing fired up and going we got more progress on the building happening so you'll see some of that coming up soon we got to get on the gremlin burnout car for Cleus and cars of Bristol waiting on the machine shop right now we got parts on the way thank you to solder stick for helping out with our channel please go to solderstick.com use code Josh 20 for 20 percent off your order we got a little bit left let's go see the animals Woo! Hey, bud. Is this better or worse than bananas? Can you try bananas? Yeah. Oh, I miss a lot. Good stuff. There was a little too many wires for you to chew up on this one, buddy. Oh, here comes Granny. Oh, I'm so sorry. We just got juice left, Granny. Oh, there you go. Incredible. When are we gonna make a calendar with her on it? That's what I want to know. In a bathing suit, two piece. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Who's in? Tell them by Rocky. Yuma, you going to the car show? Yeah, he's gonna be there. <laughs> she is waiting at the gate for you. He sees us. You ready, girl? <laughs> We've had a lot of people say their favorite part of the video is seeing the pig drink the RC Cola. We gotta give it to him, don't we? Are you going to do it through the fence this time? There you go. That's good, huh? Tell him bye, Vanya. She's licking it off the gate. There's Rowdy Rhonda down there, the goat chaser. Look at Granny Jr. She's just in there amongst it, isn't she? The baby's got moved into the big field. Look how scrawny you are, you little thing. She's sweet as can be, isn't she? Yes. Hi, sweet baby. Hi, are you okay? You tell him bye? Huh? 